I knew that going to Central, that I would have to do well, continue to do well, because in a sense I was representing a lot of other colored kids, sure. okay? So I, my intent was to, and I, and I knew I could do well, started out at the same time with any other kid, I could learn and do as well as the next kid. I knew that. So the every day that went by, that said to me that I was getting further and further behind. Mm -hmm. And I didn't like that. And I expressed that um, to, um, you know, when we got together one time, I guess. And I, I, I know I made that comment to Mrs. Bates or to whomever that we were talking to at the time. And <clears throat> I figured whenever we got back in school, I was gonna to have to not only be twice as good as that white kid, I was gonna to have to be the super Negro, mm -hmm. okay? Because I had to not only catch up and then be on equal basis to, to continue on, mm -hmm. you know, to do well. And I, you know, I was in the National Honor Society. I've, I had always been on the honor roll and I didn't want to lose that, number mm -hmm. one. And number two, I had never brought a C home in my life. I couldn't bring C's home, yeah. you know. You had to do well out in my, in my household. <laughs> uh, my, my mother and father didn't, you know, they just didn't accept, you know, those kind of grades. So uh, expectation level was high just in my own household. Sure. Whether it was at Stevens or Dunbar, and that was to carry on into Central. Yeah.